Valium is also known as diazepam, and it's a benzodiazepine medication, or it's a medication that acts on the benzodiazepine receptor that helps calm down the mind and body. And so there's actually several psychiatric, even medical conditions that this can be helpful for. It can be used for anxiety, especially in the short term, while waiting for the symptoms to resolve or giving time for another medication that doesn't work right away to have an effect. But it's also used for several other conditions. It used to sedate people, so used before operations. Uh, it can be used uh, for alcohol withdrawal to help prevent seizures or anxiety elevated heart rate, uh, trouble breathing that can happen with alcohol withdrawal. It can help to stop seizures and can be used for seizures. It can help with sleep terror, sleepwalking, um, even can help with serotonin syndrome, which can maybe help paralyze the muscles or slow down the muscles, which may be spasming during serotonin syndrome. So how this medication works is it's thought to work on the benzodiazepine and GABA receptors. And so GABA has several different components to it, but ultimately what it's going to do is try to increase the molecule called glycine. And glycine is a molecule that's just going to help calm down the mind and body and on the nervous system. There's several possible side effects from this medication, and I'm going to list, and I'll list here common side effects and more serious ones. But most notably is that this, pay, this medication can be sort of addictive. So people who have a tendency to get addicted or hooked onto medications, this may not be a good choice because over time, the body typically gets used to it. And so you need a higher and higher of a dose to have that same effect. And then at some point, even the body won't really function well without the medication. Also, you have to be careful about mixing this with alcohol or with opioid pain medications because the two, those together can work to slow down the breathing because this medication is going to slow down the breathing a bit. But when you add those things, there's a risk of overdose in those conditions. Also, if someone's been on this medication for several years, usually the taper needs to be done gradually. It shouldn't be done all of a sudden because that can cause a seizure um, and people do can die suddenly from a seizure. So Valium is just one of several types of the benzodiazepine medications. Here's a chart that lists all the different types and the different dosing equivalents. And so Valium, it's thought to last a little bit longer than a lot of the others, but not necessarily as strong or potent as some of the other ones. But I do have several people that are on this that take a relatively small dose and do find effects of this medication to help with their anxiety and nerves.